Hello, everyone. The title of this talk is QVPP, Filter-Based Longest Prefix Matching in Software Data Planes. I'm Min Sok Kwan from Rochester Institute of Technology. And this is a joint work with Krishna Nupan, John Marshall, and Mustafa Rafiq at RIT and Cisco Systems. Here is a summary of the key results from this work. In this work, we tackle the following problem. The performance of programmable software switches on commodity hardware is a concern with increasing network speed and routing table size. Specifically, our target problem is how to improve the longest prefix matching in IP lookup. To solve this problem, we use vector packet processing, also known as VPP, with the Cuckoo filters for preliminary filtering of network prefixes. Both VPP and Cuckoo filter use cache locality for data and instruction to achieve speed up in packet processing. Our results show that QVPP provide 4.5 million lookups per second and its lookup rates are higher than base VPP, VPP with tries and VPP with the balloon filters. Also, it scales well for a large routing table. When a packet arrives at the network router, the network prefix is extracted from the destination IP address. As shown in the figure, 128.17.22.3 is a destination IP address. And this IP address is used as key for search for a match in the routing table to find the next hop to forward the packet to. More precisely, IP address or IP packet header does not carry uh, what the network prefix is. So basically in the routing table, all the prefixes were compared to the destination IP address, not the network prefix, and then get all the matched entries and then uh, use one of them to forward toward the next stop. One problem, as I hinted before, for IP packet forwarding at the router, though, is that network prefix is unknown in IP packet header. Because of that, hashing, which is the most efficient way for searching cannot be used for search, unfortunately. Also, it is possible to have more than one prefix is matched in the search as the network prefix is not given. One naive way to address this problem is to, of course, try all possible prefix lengths in the search. For example, for IPv6, we can try um, one to 128 prefix length. And then we use the longest prefix matched among all the matches. And it's called longest prefix matching. The problem of such approach is its high complexity, high overhead to try all possible prefixes. As a better improved approach, try data structure was used where the prefix is matched as we traverse the try from the root to the leaf. As we traverse the try from root to the leaf, the network prefix is matched. <clears throat> and whenever that we stop that traverse, which means the no longer it's matched, that is the longest prefix matching. And that is the matched entry, uh, which contains the target next stop. Also, a compact data structure like a bloom filter was used to filter out unmatched one before actual table lookup in the FIP so that it could reduce the memory access to the FIP, the routing table in main memory, um, eventually will reduce the lookup time overall. Recently, much advances have been made in programmable networking data um, networking devices, including switches, 
routers, NICs, NetFPGA, and 100% software or virtual uh, switches. These devices support high-speed networking from 100 Gbps to some terabps. Examples are P4 enabled chips for switches like those from Barefoot Networks and Broadcom, uh, namely the FINA chips from Barefoot Networks, and some smart NIC from Netronom, Xilinx, and Intel DPDK, and 100% software switch like OVS, uh, which is OpenV switch, and VPP by FIDO. So the question really is, how IP lookup performs in software switches, especially its processing speed compared to traditional ASIC-based hardware switches. In particular, the challenges include, first, software switches use commodity hardware instead of specialized hardware for processors, as well as memory like TCAM. So generally, it's slower than ASIC-based hardware switches. Second, network speed increases rapidly, which demands ever-increasing packet processing speed. But as we just discussed, uh, using commodity hardware uh, for software switches, um, it is challenging to expect very high packet processing speed. And finally, the routing table grows rapidly, especially with the introduction of, especially with the introduction of IPv6, which has um, a lot more IP addresses and IoT, um, Internet of Things, which will increase search time even more. To gauge how much impact this growing routing table size has on IP lookup we ran a simple experiment as shown in the table here on the bottom left corner. The table clearly shows that as the number of prefix lengths increases, which means the table grows, significantly more CPU cycles are needed and thus lookup rates are adversely impacted. In light of these challenges and experiments, we have two observations. First, Longest prefix matching is indeed a major bottleneck in packet processing. And second, cache locality can be utilized for fast packet processing. To summarize, the research question in this work is following. Can filter technologies enhance IP lookup performance in vector packet processing based software routers? In response to this question, we design KuVPP that uses Cuckoo filters in the VPP software router for IP lookup pre-processing in cache. More specifically, KuVPP uses Cuckoo filters with the VPP utilizing cache locality and vector packet processing to achieve further speed up in packet processing. Let's first take a look at the overall architecture of QVP. This is a bird's eye view of the architecture. Not a, as you can see, not a single packet, but a vector of packets are processed together going through the packet processing graph. While an instruction in cache, namely iCache, all the packets in the vector are processed. So improving cache hit rate and improving the performance even further not only for the instruction, but also the data in this case, network prefixes are stored in the Cuckoo filter in cache. So the search is processed fast and only a few matched prefixes later are need to be compared to prefixes in the routing table instead of all of the prefixes. This will reduce the memory access time significantly. This is why using filter helps reduce the number of memory access and make the overall performance higher. Let's look at each component in more detail. In VPP, a group of packets are processed for the same instruction in cache. This way, we can avoid the case when one packet is processed by instruction one 
then other instructions are processed. But then, when the next packet is processed, it again fetches instruction one from main memory. Uh, from um, yeah, from main memory, which causes cache miss. In VPP, because all these packets are processed together, we can avoid such cache misses. Also, packets are pre-screened by the filter that resides in cache. The biggest challenge of longest prefix matching is to compare all the prefixes to the destination IP address since the network prefix is not known. Using filtering cache, this part can be done really quickly. Since the size of cache memory is very limited, the data structure, however, should be small to fit, and the filter is extremely compact and good for such purpose. Now, only a few prefixes after the pre-screen need to be checked with the routing table entries for matching. The number of memory access goes down dramatically. For the filter, we use a cuckoo filter. And here is how it works. To insert an item, we use two hash functions and insert the item, whichever is empty. If none of them are available, it kicks out one of them and inserts there. We then insert the kicked out item to the other place. Remember, each item has two places to be inserted. If this place is already occupied, again, it kicks out the current item and insert it. And this process continues. This kick out process works like how cuckoo birds kick out its babies from the nest, and that's why it's called cuckoo filters. So this process repeats until all the items were inserted successfully. The lookup process is fairly simple. You just need to check the two places for an item and one of them should have the item. Cuckoo filters are shown to have low false positive rates, which are problems of Bloom filters, and utilize more space in the filter, resulting in even smaller filter size. You can find more details about Cuckoo filter in the paper at the bottom. <clears throat> we have modified base VPP code base implementing CuVPP. The graph on the left-hand side shows part of the packet processing graph in VPP. And on the right-hand side, it shows that we built Cuckoo filter and inserted an IP6 underscore FIP function in VPP for insertion and lookup. It turns out that having efficient hash functions is critical to enable high-speed packet processing, and we ended up using, we ended up using Intel CRC32 checksum for hash function. Our testing environment has two Cisco UCS servers with high performing Intel Xeon processors. Um, and the two servers are connected through 80 Gbps fiber optic cables. Packets are generated using MoonGen from uh, one UCS server and then sent to the other server, which processed the IP lookup. In the performance evaluation, we compare CoVPP against base VPP, VPP with balloon filters, and VPP with tries. We generated prefixes in the routing table and network, tra net and network traffic based on route views and Deutsche Telekom actual network traffic for IPv6. We measure lookup rates in MPPS, which is a million packet per, packets per second, uh, cache hit or miss, update time, memory footprint, and scalability with multi-core uh, processors. This is one of the lookup rates results as a representative one. One is measure, which is on the top left-hand corner when packets are generated with random uh, prefixes, and the other is measured on the, at, at the, the bottom right corner. And the other is measured when packets are generated following some prefix distributions. As you can see, 
In both cases, QVPP shows higher lookup rates compared to the other approaches by 10 to 55 percent. Here, MLPS stands for million lookups per second. To understand what it uh, what takes time and lookup in more detail, we look we also look into the profile of lookups. There are two lookups in QVPP. One is for the filter and the other for the FIP or routing table. As you can see, VPP with the Bloom filter or Cuckoo filter performs a lot more lookups with a filter, while base VPP obviously performs only routing table lookup, but no uh, filter lookup. Also, the results show that VPP with the Cuckoo filter ended up needing much smaller number of both filter and FIP lookup than VPP with the Bloom filter, which use more hash functions, um, producing more false positives. Our measurements also show that the cache miss rate of QVPP is lower than VPP with the try technique by an order of magnitude and it is lower than base VPP um, and VPP with the Bloom filters approaches by six orders of magnitude. In conclusion, here is a takeaway of our work. We develop QVPP that uses Cuckoo filters with uh, vector packet processing that utilizes batched packet processing and cache locality to improve route lookup performance. Our evaluation shows that QVPP outperforms VPP, VPP with the Bloom filter, and VPP with a try 5 to 100% in a real high speed network setting. And, uh, for future work, we, we see three possible avenues that could be explored. First, um, QVPP could be possibly extended for exact matching like that needed in the ECHLs, the access control lists, or network intrusion detection systems. Second, uh, QVPP can also be potentially used in data center networks for translation between virtual and physical addresses because it's basically a matching problem. Finally, <clears throat> it would be also interesting to explore the programmability with the QVPP, programmability aspect with the QVPP, such as programming constructs for easy configuration of filter-based IP lookup. That's the end of the talk. That concludes the talk, and thanks for listening.